വെൽക്കം ടു ബയോളജി എല്ലാവർക്കും ബയോളജി ട്യൂട്ടറിന്റെ ഒരു പുതിയൊരു വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഇഫ് യു ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ചാനൽ പ്ലീസ് ഷെയർ ആൻഡ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ഡോൺ ഫോർഗറ്റ് ടു ക്ലിക്ക് ദ ബെൽ ബട്ടൺ ടു ഗെറ്റ് നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻസ് ഇന്ന് നാം ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഫുഡ് ബോൺ ഡിസീസിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് അതിൻ്റെ എം സി ക്യൂസ് ആണ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ കോളറ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് കോളറ ഈസ് കോസ് ബൈ വിബ്രിയോ കോളറെ പർട്ടിക്കുലർലി സീറോ ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ഓ വൺ ആൻഡ് ഓ വൺ ത്രീ നയൻ The cholera toxin induces watery diarrhea known as rice water stools. Transmission is typically through contaminated water and food. Vaccination and sanitization measures are effective in cholera prevention. Conclusion Which of the following best describes cholera? Option A Cholera is an airborne disease caused by Vibrio cholerae O1 and O139. B. Cholera toxin causes severe dehydration by inducing watery diarrhea. C. Only contaminated food spreads cholera, not water. D. Cholera can prevent, be prevented solely by vaccination without sanitation measures. Here, which is the answer? Here, answer is option B. Cholera toxin causes severe dehydration by inducing watery diarrhea. Explanation. Cholera is transmitted through contaminated water with the cholera toxin causing profuse watery diarrhea and dehydration. Second question, Shigellosis. Statements, Shigellosis is caused by Shigella species, primarily Shigella dysentery, Shigella flexneri, Shigella boidi, and Shigella sonni. The Shiga toxin produced by some Shigella toxins strains can lead to hemolytic uremic syndrome or HUS. Shigellosis is primarily transmitted through the fecal oral route. Symptoms include bloody diarrhea, fever and abdominal pain. Conclusion Which of the following best describes Shigella infections? A. Shigella is airborne and rarely causes severe symptoms. B. Only Shigella dysentery produces Shia toxin linked to HUS. C. Shigella spreads via the fecal oral route with symptoms including bloody diarrhea. D. Shigellosis is mild and self-limiting in most cases requiring no treatment. answer is option c shigella spreads via the fecal oral route with symptoms including bloody diarrhea explanation shigella spreads via contaminated food or water and its symptoms can include severe bloody diarrhea and abdominal pain if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell button third question brucellosis statements brucellosis is caused by brucella species primarily brucella abortus in cattle brucella melitensis in goats brucella suis in pigs it is transmitted to humans through direct contact with infected animals consumption of unpasteurized dairy products and inhalation of aerosols brucellosis is primarily affects the liver and spleen leading to a chronic condition with symptoms such as fever joint pain and malaise The disease can lead to complications such as endocarditis and osteomyelitis. Conclusion Which of the following is the most accurate description of brucellosis transmission and symptoms? Options A. Brucellosis is transmitted only through direct con- contact with animals with no risk associated with food consumption. B. Brucella species are commonly transmitted through unpasteurized dairy causing flu-like symptoms and chronic complications. C. Brucellosis primarily causes gastrointestinal symptoms and is easily transmitted or treated with over-the-counter medications. Brucellosis can be transmitted via the respiratory route but only affects cattle and does not affect humans. Which is the answer here? Answer is option B. Brucellosis species are commonly transmitted through unpasteurized dairy and causing flu-like symptoms and chronic complications. Explanation brucellosis is transmitted through contact with infected animals and consumption of unpasteurized dairy it causes systemic infection with long term complications fourth question typhoid fever statements typhoid fever is caused by salmonella enterica cirrhosis typhi symptoms include prolonged fever abdominal pain and sometimes a characteristic rose colored rash The bacteria are transmitted through contaminated water and food often in areas with poor sanitation. Typhoid fever can cause complications such as intestinal perforation and septicemia. Conclusion which of the following correctly describes transmission and complications of typhoid fever? A. Typhoid fever is primarily spread through respiratory droplets with GI symptoms being rare. 
B. Salmonella typhi is transmitted through contaminated food or water and the disease can lead to severe complications if untreated. C. Typhoid fever is caused by a viral infection and is not associated with foodborne transmission. D. Only travelers to developing countries are at risk of contacting typhoid fever. Here which is the answer. Here answer is option B. Salmonella typhi is transmitted through contaminated food or water and the disease can lead to severe complications if untreated. Explanation. Typhoid fever is a foodborne infection caused by Salmonella typhi with the potential for severe complications if not treated, especially in resource limited areas. Fifth question. Aflatoxins. Statements. Aflatoxins are a group of mycotoxins produced by Aspergillus species, particularly Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus. These toxins are potent carcinogens and are most commonly found in improperly stored crops like peanuts, maize and tree nuts. Aflatoxin exposure can cause acute poisoning, liver damage and long-term carcinogenic effects. Aflatoxin contamination is regulated by food safety agencies which set maximum allowable levels in food products. Conclusion: Which of the following is true regarding aflatoxins? A. Aflatoxins are produced by bacteria and are not carcinogenic. B. Aspergillus species produce aflatoxins which are highly regulated and can cause liver cancer and acute toxicity. C. Aflatoxins are primarily found in dairy products which cause respiratory problems. D. There is no regulatory limit for aflatoxin levels in food and it is not associated with cancer. Here which is the answer? Here answer is option B. Aspergillus species produce aflatoxins which are highly regulated and can cause liver cancer and acute toxicity. Explanation. Aflatoxins are produced by Aspergillus species and are highly regulated due to their toxic and carcinogenic effects. Sixth question. Ergodism. Statements. Ergodism is caused by alkaloid toxins produced by Claviceps purpurea fungus, which infects cereal grains like rye. Symptoms of ergodism include vasoconstriction, gangrene, and neurological disturbances. Historically, ergodism was linked to the Salem with trials where it was believed to be the cause of mass hysteria. The toxin produced by claviceps is used in modern medicine for inducing labor but can cause serious health issues when consumed in high amounts. Conclusion: Which of the following is the most accurate description for, of ergodism? Option A. Ergodism is caused by bacterial contamination of wheat with minimal symptoms. The ergodism symptoms include neurological and vascular symptoms caused by toxins from Claviceps purpurea. C. Ergodism only affects humans who eat contaminated wheat and does not impact livestock. D. The toxin produced by Claviceps is safe and widely used in medicinal practices without side effects. Answer is option B. Ergodism symptoms include neurological and vascular symptoms caused by toxins from Claviceps purpurea. Explanation Ergodism is caused by Claviceps purpurea toxin, which lead to severe vascular and neurological symptoms due to vasoconstriction. 8. Aflatoxins Statements Aflatoxins are produced by Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus. They are found in foods like peanuts, maize, and cotton seed and are highly carcinogenic. Aflatoxins are regulated by food safety agencies and must be minimized in agricultural products. Aflatoxin B1 is the most potent and well-studied aflatoxin in terms of carcinogenicity. Conclusion: Which statement about aflatoxins is true? A. Aflatoxins are not a concern in agriculture products due to effective prevention methods. B. Aspergillus produces aflatoxins which can cause liver cancer, especially aflatoxin B1. C. Aflatoxins are only found in fruits and vegetables, not grains. D. Aflatoxin contamination is not regulated or monitored in food products. Here, which is answer? Here, answer is option B. Aspergillus produces aflatoxins, which can cause liver cancer, especially aflatoxin B1. Explanation: Aflatoxins, particularly aflatoxin B1, are potent carcinogens produced by Aspergillus species and pose serious risks when present in food. Ninth question: Typhoid fever. Statements: Typhoid fever is caused by Salmonella enterica serotype typhi. Symptoms include prolonged fever, abdominal pain, and characteristic rose-colored rash. Typhoid fever can be fatal if not treated with appropriate antibiotics. Typhoid fever is primarily transmitted through contaminated water and food in areas with poor sanitation. Conclusion: Which of the following best describes the transmission and symptoms of typhoid fever? 
A typhoid fever is transmitted through the air and affects primarily the lungs. B. Salmonella typhi is transmitted through contaminated food and water causing systemic symptoms including fever and rash. C. Typhoid fever symptoms include gastrointestinal distress but it does not affect other symptoms. Sorry, other systems. D. Typhoid fever can be cured without antibiotics if treated early. Here answer is option B. Salmonella typhi is transmitted through contaminated food and water causing systemic symptoms including fever and rash. Explanation. Typhoid fever is foodborne infection caused by Salmonella typhi with systemic symptoms including fever, abdominal pain and rash. Proper treatment is required to prevent severe complications. Next, last question, 10th one, botulism. Statements, botulism is caused by a neurotoxin producing strains of Clostridium botulinum. The toxin affects the nervous system leading to paralysis and respiratory failure. Botulism is often caused by improperly canned foods, especially low acid vegetables. The neurotoxin produced by Clostridium botulinum is one of the most potent toxins known to humans. Conclusion, which of the following statements is most accurate regarding botulism? Option A. Botulism is caused by a viral infection and is primarily transmitted via respiratory droplets. B. Clostridium botulinum produces potent neurotoxin that causes paralysis typically through contaminated canned foods. C. Botulism is a mild disease and often resolves without medical intervention. D. Botulism only affects infants and is not a concern for adults. Here answer is option B. Clostridium botulinum produces a potent neurotoxin that causes paralysis typically through contaminated canned foods. Ex uh, explanation. Botulism is caused by the neurotoxin produced by Clostridium botulinum primarily through contaminated food often from improperly canned or preserved food products. Thank you. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button to get notification.